Hello everyone. In last session, we have seen how we can put data byte-wise onto a port of 8051. In this session, let's create a project. And the project is you have to make the LEDs go on and off in an alternate pattern. So they should be seen like this. So once or first time the LED on P3.0 is on, 3.1 is off, 3.2 is on, 3.3 is off, 3.4 is on, and so on. So the alternate pins are high and give some delay and then here these second alternate pins are high that's the program that we want to create now let's see how we can create a logic for it again let's focus for some time onto this notepad see how the ports are mapped on the 8051 and how we are giving data to them that's very important when we write down a byte-wise data, we give data to the pins like this. First, spin numbers, bit number 7, then 6, then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Now, when I wanted to make them all on-off, they were all 1 or 0. So, it was easy to make it FF and 00. zero. Now, what we want is alternate on-off. So, at once, this is on off on off on off on off and after some delay we want to make it opposite so off on off on off on off on this is what we want to create and now what we have to do is we have to find out a hex code for it so it's very simple this is a and this is also a so the hex code will be 0x AA and for alternate other pattern it will be 0x 5 5. Got it? Isn't that simple? Let's go to here on our program. So P3 is 0x uh, AA and P3 is 0x 5 5. Let's build. Remember, building is important before you see the simulation. Once the building is done, you just start the simulation once again. We can see this. Simple, isn't it? So, that's it for the alternate on-off. In the same way, we can also make four LED on and four LEDs off. How? This four on and remaining four off. You can get it. The pattern is very simple. So it would be F0. And here it would be 0F. Let's see. F0, 0F. Built. Stop the sim uh, simulation, start it again. 4 on, 4 off, 4 on, 4 off. Got it? Isn't that simple? Yes, it is actually. So, that's it for this session. In next section, we'll try to see how to use a for loop for making the LEDs go on and off.